welcome to the video presentation on underground cable laying we will see two different ways of laying the cable and the second is laying of cables in open trenches we are digging a pit here for laying trenchless cable of 11 kv rating or ht feeder here we can see that Boring is being carried out with trenchless machine by injecting water in the soil. As you can see, this black pipe is an HDPE pipe of 160 mm diameter. After pilot and rimming, we will pull this black pipe and put it in the bore with the help of trenchless machine. We will put a wire in the pipe and insert the rod to pull the cable to keep the cable safe. Insertion of HDPE pipe through the bore is in progress. We can see that roller stools are placed under the HDPE pipe for smooth movement without drag and stress on the HDPE pipe. Greetings. My name is Virendra. I am a supervisor. Here I am supervising trenchless cable laying. Today we will see how to lay 11 kV HD cable by trenchless technique. We have attached the cable with the drum jack and the drum is turned upwards. With the help of these rollers, we will move the cable up to the pit. At the tip of the cable, a Chinese finger is placed. Below that, at the bottom is the rod for pulling the pipe. To this rod, the Chinese finger is attached. We will pull the cable with the help of a D-clamp. This is the test pit of a cable trench. You can see that the depth is more than 1 meter. As per standard regulations, the depth should be more than 1 meter for HD cable. Going forward, the depth increases further to 1.5 to 2 meters. Also, where this cable exists, the depth should be more than 1 meter. In the middle, the depth would be between 1.5 to 2 meters. We will now start pulling the cable. Cable pulling has been started now. The crew members are placing additional roller stools. Helpers are pulling the cable from the drum so that there is no pressure on cable. If the cable is loose, it will go inside smoothly and easily. Cable is going inside the pipe through the pipe pulling rod. This is called a trenchless machine. Cable pulling is done with the help of trenchless machine. In this process, we need pipe pulling rods of 3 meters each. After pulling 3 meters, the rod will be opened and removed. Again, another rod will be removed after each pull. You can see that the cable we were pulling has reached the end and has come out here. This is a 3 by 400 square mm 11 kV HD cable drum, which is now empty. The HD cable feeder is around 2 to 2.5 kilometers. While the cable supplied in the drum has a length of generally up to 250 to 300 meters. Therefore, many joints are required in this cable to complete the feeder. We need to prepare an XLPE joint. For this, extra digging is going on here to accommodate the jointing process. After digging is done, we need to joint both the cable ends to ensure cable continuity. This is heat treatment process of the straight through the joint after completion. Now, the joints have been made successfully. It is 3 core 400 square mm heat shrink type. So far, we have learned how the underground cables are laid trenchless with the help of machines to join cables underground. Now, let us learn about cable laying in open trench. In this video, you will learn how the trench is excavated for cable laying and depth dimensions according to the existing CEA standards. Let us see a double circuit HD 11 kV cable laying process in a trench. Greetings. I am Devraj Kondal, Assistant Manager, BSES Rajdhani Power Limited. Today, we are here to lay an 11 kV HD 3 core 300 square mm cable. The trench for double circuit is excavated and here 
you can see both the circuits are running parallel in the trench. Between the two cables running parallel, a minimum distance equivalent to the diameter of cable is maintained. You can see here that the distance is being maintained and brick padding is being provided for maintaining proper clearance. You can see the depth of the trench is maintained at 1.05 meters as per measurement. The width of trench is 140 cm, which is properly maintained. Before laying the cable, a cushion of 75 mm or 3 inches of sand is provided. After laying the cable, 3 inches of sand is again filled over the cable and then docketing with brick is done. After that, the trench is filled with the remaining soil. The surface of the land will be dressed and if required, restoration of road or footpath is done as per the norms. So far, you have seen how the two circuits are laid in parallel in a trench. Let us see how sand bed is provided on cables. Here, you can notice the trench being filled with sand. After sand is put in properly, the brick padding is done. Now, sand padding is being done. The 7.5 cm thick sand bed is laid under the cable and over the cables. Then, we need to do brick docketing above it. Here, you can see the docketing of bricks. After brick docketing, we will fill the trench with soil. Here, you can see that docketing of bricks is done. The purpose of docketing is to provide mechanical strength to the cable. If someone else works on this line, our cables will not be damaged. After docketing is done, the trench is first filled with soft soil and then hard soil, that is, on the sides of the trench. After the soil is completely filled and proper dressing is done, the place, road or earth is restored to the former condition. In this video presentation, we have learnt about underground cable laying.